What's up guys, welcome to my channel. I'm so stoked right now because this is my first ever video. Okay, so today we're gonna talk about my 2020 stationery haul from Shopee. I've decided to haul stationeries because I plan to journal this coming new year, so I'm very excited. So first, these are my journals, notebooks, or fillers, whatever you call it. So I got four passport size fillers. Um, the one is white, brown, and black, and gray. And I got it for 65 pesos only. So, And this one is a spiral notebook. And its pages are craft brown paper. And I really love the color. And this 366 days planner, I got it from National Bookstore, not from Shopee though. I just wanted to include it because I'm using it in 2020. So as you can see, I filled up some pages. Um, I'm very excited to fill this book with my plans. And I got this bookmark. It's some sort of paper clip and I think it's very cute. It's a diamond a rose gold clip. Okay, so next one, let's talk about envelopes. I really love envelope. It makes me want to send to my friends and family. And I got this mini envelope. It's um it's very small, but I like I like how cute it is. And the next one is a vintage airmail envelope. I really really love this one. And inside, I got this um, washi tape swatch that I did. And the next one is this Mona Lisa envelope. I really love this envelope. Um, the envelope is, um, I think, a sulfate paper. And it has a card inside. And I really love the texture of the paper because it's matte. And I really love the design. I really love... <laughs> Da Vinci's painting, especially Mona Lisa. And I got the two cards for 75 pesos. For the next one, I got this gray envelope, and inside it has um, stationary stuff. I got this for like um, 150 pesos, but I think it's worth it. As you can see, I got this airport tags, some envelopes some papers which I love because I'm really into vintage stuff There's some stickers and it even has um, Shakespeare poetry Next are stamps. I got this date stamp from actually from National Bookstore, but yeah, you can find cheaper ones on Shopee. So of course I got stamp pads, and of course my main stamp is the black one. I got blue, red, and I even got um, multiple shades of um, yellow and orange and brown. Yeah, um, the next one are my stickers. I'm so into stickers. So as you can see, I got so many of it. So first one, um, this is actually not a sticker, but yeah, um, these are train tickets and I'm so, so, so in love with it because these are vintage tickets. Got the long train tickets for 68 pesos and the shorter one is like 62 pesos and I really want to buy more of this because there are uh, so many other designs and I really want to get them all but I um, haven't been able to because it's so pricey so these are my post stamp stickers and I really love it so yeah I got uh, vintage designs airport designs world stamps I even got moons and so next one I got stickers from um, match boxes 
and yeah, I got vintage labels. And this one is not a sticker, but it's a vintage tag and it's like a renaissance painting. And I like to write stuff at the back and when, when I'm sending letters to my, you know, friends. And this one are sulfate stickers and really loving the sulfate stickers. It's like um, a transparent sticker. And yeah, I got these stickers with gold foils and I fell in love with it. These stickers are um, actually my favorite. And yeah, I got this ticket stickers. Newspaper stickers and this movie tickets stickers and yeah another sulfate stickers again I'm so into vintage stickers vintage designs and I got this six sheets of basic planner diary stickers and yeah you can organize your plans using this cute stickers and yeah um, I, I also got wax sealing and I got this um, black ink and this blue one is a nib cleaner this box of quill pen is also from Shopee you can find um, yeah, different designs of quill pen so yeah I got this um, red wax and uh, a brown one and I got the letter B stamp for my name and I also got this stamp uh, that says good luck but you can't really see it and then so I got two um, wax seal spoons because you know the other one is just the metal and when I'm heating uh, wax it's so freaking hot that I need a t-shirt to hold it but with this um, wooden handle I'm not gonna burn myself this pen holder is really cute and I got this black quill pen it has really intricate design god I love this quill pen and I got five extra nibs with of course different sizes okay so yeah uh, while filming this um, I got another package from JNT so <laughs> Let's do a little unboxing here. Uh, this package is from Grace, Grace Market. And yeah, I didn't expect that I got a freebie. And these foot stickers are the cutest. Look at that. So this is a washi tape organizer. And I really love how the seller put all my other orders inside the box that's really convenient okay wow and for the first one I got this Van Gogh washi tape I think it's called um, sunset at Mont Majeur I'm not really sure so yeah um, this one is not a painting of Van Gogh but it's some random green village and I really like the design and the second one this is a Van Gogh painting washi tape and I don't know what's called, I'm not sure. This one is a Starry Night um, washi tape. As we all know, this is the most famous painting of Vincent Van Gogh. And I got little bookmarks and it's a, this is a bicycle bookmark. And the next one I got Da Vinci's painting washi tape. So you got all of his painting in one washi tape. How cool is that? And Manet paintings, also one of my favorite painters. And I got this Renaissance, I don't know, is that Renaissance? I'm not sure. But yeah, um, I really like the design. It's just um, random women in, you know, in one washi tape. And I got this 10 rows of green pattern 
washi tapes. So I'm just gonna arrange my washi tape organizer. So yeah, I'm just gonna put all my washi tapes in my box. So I got this um, clear zipper bag and I'm gonna put my, all my stickers in it. You know, I just realized that I didn't receive an item as a Christmas present, but I only got money from my aunts and uncles, and this is where I spent all my money from. I'm sort of guilty because I bought so much, but at the same time, I'm very excited to start my journal. So there you have it, guys. That's all my stationaries I'm gonna be using when I start my journaling for the next coming year. And I'm very excited to share my journaling journey with you guys and I'll try my best to make more videos about arts and craft and so if you're interested you can like this video and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching